Hey guys, what up? It's Zero. Not your average hero. Up in the building. And it's Sunday, so you know what that means. That's right. It's time for Not Your Average Inspirational Videos. Today it marks episode 2. And I've, I've liked how this series has been going, so obviously we're going to keep it going here. Now, before I get started, the reason why you can't see my face right now, this beautiful awesome good looking face <laughs> is because um believe it or not I tried to upload my video earlier and on my Facebook page you know I actually vented out my anger because of the fact that I tried posting it and the file got corrupted like right out of nowhere I think it was like at 77 percent while saving my video so I could upload it and then out of nowhere it got corrupted. I tried replaying it back and most of the video is okay, but then there's some parts that's cut out and everything like that. So it's like, eh. Now, more, more times than not, stuff like that really just drains me and everything like that. But, you know, I can't really just leave you guys hanging like that. So, especially because of the day that it is today, you know, I got to give you guys something. So... Here I am, and right now you're just going to be seeing some pictures of me and or me and my father, or just my father. Why? Why my father? Well, here's the reason why. Because today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody. Um, Yeah, and that's what episode two is all about. It's about Father's Day. And, um, for, and let's get started. So, um, for me, I say this. I say... We should change this. We should change this from Happy Father's Day to Happy Dad's Day. Why I say dads is because anybody could be a father. You know, I could shoot my, you know, okay, kids are watching this video. Um, what's an appropriate word? I could shoot my stuff in a woman, and I could be a father. But that doesn't automatically make me a dad. That doesn't automatically make me... A role model to him or her that automatically doesn't make me that person that my son or daughter is gonna look up to you know you know that's a dad someone your child can look up to someone that you know you when you go out in public and somebody asks who oh, who is that oh that's my dad you know that makes you feel good I mean I wouldn't know cuz I'm not a father soon enough but just not now but um and here's the thing though because of the reputation of deadbeat dads which I will say it is a lot of them you know I honestly feel sorry for uh, the good dads well like mine my, my dad's good or like my uncles and my cousins who are fathers you know to some of my little cousins and you know they you know most fathers get especially black fathers Get bad reps because due to the fact that you know there are a lot of deadbeat dads. Now, why are you saying they get bad reps? Well, look at the examples. Like, okay, you see the restaurants at um on Mother's Day, jam packed. Like you have to make your reservations early. You have to get to that place early. I mean, two hours early in order for you to uh going there to eat or you know when it comes to gifts you have to really go out your way in order to uh, get your murder gift with you yeah, and um rightfully so fathers fathers day do you know i could go down to one of my favorite restaurants uh uh let me see denny's i'll say denny's uh because denny's is pretty good uh i could go to denny's right now today today and I could just go in there and just make my food and, you know, no pack line, no nothing. Why? Because there's really not that much love for true dads anymore. You know, there's not that much love for, um, you know, the dads that are there anymore. And, and what I mean by that is not just, you know, the kids saying, oh, I love my dad and everything like that. I mean public eye view, you know. Because there are a lot of kids that don't grow up without their fires and they grow up, you know, with that mindset of, you know, all fires are crap, which that's not the case. You know, I can understand how some people feel about that. I can understand how people, you know, just have that feeling inside, you know, when their fathers abandoned them at 
at, at a young age. So now they feel like, you know, all men or fathers can, you know, be that same way because it, it happened to them. You know, and what I got to say is this. Just because someone did that to you doesn't make everybody the same way. I'm telling you, it's not like that. Sometimes it just takes that one guy to come into your life to change it all around. And remember, your dad, like a dad that you look up to, doesn't have to be your biological father. Your dad, someone who you could look up to, can be a random stranger. It could be your stepdad, someone who's been there for you and raised you, but they're not of blood. It could be, it could be your uncle. It could be your uncle. I, you know, like they don't have their fathers in their lives, but their uncles is. You know, they call their uncles dads and stuff like that. You know, that's the whole thing about being a dad. And I'm gonna see this right now. And I know the mothers watching this video. Um, might get you know a little bit angry at me for saying this but i don't care because you're gonna have to listen listen the 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 mothers they have an important role in their child's life i i guarantee that but i'm gonna say this right now the fathers or dads dads have just as much of importance if not more if not more than the mothers. That's right. I said it. I said it. I said it. The fathers can have just as much, if not more, of importance in their child's life uh, than the, uh, just like the mothers. Why I say that is this. Because whereas a mother can be there to comfort you, you know, be that, you know, oh, I'm here for you, I'm here for you. A dad can do that just as well. But in a strong manner too, you know, when you get hugged, like, all right, for example, when you get hugged from your mother, you know that, you know, hey, you know your mother loves you and you know that you love your mother. But when your dad hugs you, you know you're safe. You know that nothing's going to happen. You feel like you're just protected. Not only that you feel that your dad loves you and you love your dad, but you know, you feel like you're protected. You see what I'm saying? You You feel like, you know, you know, like. All, all those troubles just go away. You know? And honestly, I implore you dads, the true dads, to hug your children more. You know? I know you might feel like, you know, you're, you're unmanly. You know, you're showing the soft side. You know what? Sometimes you got to show off that soft side. As a matter of fact, it's because of showing, not showing that soft side with some of the kids, you know, being the way how they are today. You know, just being, you know, really rebellious and everything like that. You know, yeah, I'm not saying you shouldn't be hard on your children. I'm not saying that at all. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. I, I think there are more parents that should be more hard on their kids now. You know, you know, do what you need to do. But you do have to have a soft side. You got to show your kids that even just a little vulnerability can be good, you know? And that's just the whole thing about it. But other than that, for the true dads, not even fighters, dads out there, I say happy dad's day. This is my, this is my phrase, happy dad's day. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Don't let any of the mothers try to, you know, ruin your day. This is your day, okay? And, you know, just make the most of it. And for the kids with the true dads, let them know how much you appreciate them. Let them know how much you love them. You know, and let them know how much, you know, they mean to you in their life. Just like how my dad means in my life. I know I never call him dad like that. You know, I always call him Wes. But you see, we kind of, we kind of have, you see, that's how I know, you know, that's my father. You know, that's my dad. I love him so much because we got that kind of connection to a point where I can call him Wes just like everybody else. And we still connect. It's not like I'm calling him Wes out of disrespect, like how some kids call 
their father or their mother's real name, first name or something, out of disrespect. I call them, I call them that since I was a baby. This didn't just start. I call them that since I was a baby, and it's going to keep going because we have that kind of of you know respect for each other we kind of have that love for each other to the point where i can call him by that name and, it's, and it feels like nothing you know me calling him Wes is like whatever but to everybody else i call him my dad though i'm not just gonna just call him west and that's it he is my dad he is my father and i really do love him so and i hope he's what well i was gonna say i hope he's watching this but he doesn't really watch online videos <laughs> maybe I'll show them later but that'll do it for this video guys um if you like this please like please share please subscribe please you know tell me about your fires please tell me about not even fires please tell me about your dads you know and tell me what you're doing for your dad or or all the dads tell me what your children are doing for you um and just leave all the positive comments you know down below and as for next week, I'm going to, um, uh, I haven't really thought about it much, but I'll have some more ideas next week of what I want to do for episode three for Not Your Average Inspirational videos. Um, so far this series has been going pretty good for me and I hope to continue to, uh, keep it going and hope to see you guys, um, give, give all the love that you got. But until then, guys, this is Zero saying rock out.